Chicago and its suburbs are located on the southwestern shore of Lake Michigan, one of the five large inland lakes known as the Great Lakes. The third largest city in the USA, just under 2.7 million inhabitants, is considered the birthplace of skyscrapers. The first steel-framed high-rise building was erected here in 1884, and these still dominate the cityscape today. The nickname Windy City refers to the climatic conditions in the city, since natural boundaries such as mountains and hills are missing, the city is largely exposed to wind and storms. Chicago is an important business and science location, seven nationally known universities can be found here, many large companies have their headquarters here. The convenient location on the transcontinental route from New York across the Great Lakes to the Pacific Coast led to the development of an important railroad junction here early on the train station is still the largest in the world today. The airport and inland port form the economic center of the American Midwest and are among the top in the world rankings. Tip 1, Art Institute of Chicago. Founded as early as 1879 and located in the same place since 1893, the AIC exhibits primarily works of Impressionism and Post-Impressionism. It also houses ancient, Egyptian, American, Asian, European, Islamic, classical, modern and contemporary art, as well as graphic and industrial design and architecture. In addition, it houses the Ryerson and Burnham Library's architectural archive. The Art Institute of Chicago is one of the most visited art museums in the world, with around 1.5 million visitors per year. With a good 300,000 square meters of space in eight buildings, it is the second largest in the USA after the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. Among the most important works are, self-portrait by Vincent van Gogh, Haystack, and other famous works by Claude Monet, The Crystal Palace by Camille Pissarro, a Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte by Georges-Pierre Seurat, or Nighthawks by Edward Hopper. Tip 2, Navy Pier. On Lake Michigan near the Chicago River, in the near north side neighborhood of Chicago, Illinois, is Navy Pier. This is a 1,010-meter-long pier, with the most beautiful promenade in Chicago, which extends into Lake Michigan. Navy Pier is the main attraction of the Chicago metropolitan area with Ferris wheel, carousel, miniature golf, tour boats, Chicago Children's Museum, an IMAX theater, Smith Museum of Stained Glass Windows, Shakespeare Theater, and fireworks over the pier. 50 acres of parks, gardens, stores, restaurants, and entertainment attract more than 8 million visitors a year to Navy Pier. An evening at Navy Pier is an absolute must for all Chicago visitors. This is where locals and tourists meet to end a beautiful summer day. Tip 3, Millennium Park. Millennium Park in Chicago is built on the site of a former railroad station and attracts thousands of visitors each year with its architectural, musical, and scenic attractions. Outdoor concerts, sculptures, and gardens are just some of the incentives to pay the park a visit. In 1997, the mayor of Chicago in the American state of Illinois commissioned the design of a musical venue. Those responsible chose the former Illinois Central Road Station, which had been abandoned since 1971. Over time and with the help of architect Frank Gehry, the project took on ever greater dimensions. Today, Millennium Park houses a unique mix of modern architecture, impressive sculptures and gardens on its approximate 100,000 square meters and attracts thousands of visitors every year. Highlights of the park include the J. Pritzker Pavilion, designed by architect Frank Gehry himself, the cloud gate designed by Anish Kapoor, 
affectionately known as the Silver Bean by Chicago residents and the Crown Fountain by Catalan artist Jaume Plensa. Two monumental glass towers, onto which faces of Chicago residents are projected, function as fountains about 9 meters high, with water flowing down their walls. Tip 4. Sky Deck. One of the tallest buildings in the world is the Willis Tower. The skyscraper has 108 floors and was commissioned by the Sears Corporation. Therefore, it was known as Sears Tower for a long time. When the London-based insurance company Willis Group rented several floors as office space in 2009, it bought the naming rights to the skyscraper and renamed it Willis Tower. In Chicago parlance, however, it is still called Sears Tower. On the 103rd floor is a visitor platform, the Sky Deck. On a clear day, the view stretches 80 kilometers across the huge Lake Michigan. If you're lucky, you can see the four surrounding states of Illinois, Indiana, Wisconsin and Michigan from the observation deck. Visitors reach the observation deck via two elevators that are among the fastest in the world. They reach a speed of 480 meters per minute. The trip to the 103rd floor therefore takes just 45 seconds. After the name change in 2009, the Willis Company had glass balconies added to the exterior of the building. Those who venture out have a direct view through the floor to the sidewalk, which is 412 meters below. It is the highest observation deck in the United States. The balconies are made of glass all around, and the visitor is not standing outside, but inside a glass box that protects against winds and dangerous situations. Tip 5. Riverwalk. The Chicago Riverwalk is a picturesque pedestrian promenade along the south bank of the Chicago River. During the summer months, the coveted promenade is a busy place to stay, thanks to its many restaurants, cafes, parks with benches and overlooks. The Chicago Riverwalk runs six blocks along historic Wacker Drive from Lake Shore Drive on Lake Michigan to Lake Street, with access from every major intersection. Visitors can explore different areas all connected by a continuous pedestrian path. Each of the six areas has its own landscaping and therefore its own features and attractions. Attractions along the Riverwalk include the boat tours that depart here, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Plaza, and the McCormick Bridge House and Chicago River Museum. For a breathtaking view from the water, you can take a variety of boat tours. Travel All says, thank you very much for watching my video about Chicago. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell.